Thank you for joining me today. My name is Lila Brown, founder of Crystal Weavers. Today we are in the beautiful prairie at my home in central Minnesota. I'm excited to share with you today new information that's been coming through my divine guidance. This information is about the inner goddess. I've been doing quite a bit of internal work myself and through my internal work, I've just been discovering all of these different um, really important things about our ascension path. Really important things about how we can engage our soul. And also really uh, a lot of information about the anatomy of our soul. Previous videos I had talked about the soul fractals and how they are here in our energy field, you know, and in our physical vessel. That is still all absolutely true, but now I have more details for you and I am looking forward to sharing all of that with you over the coming weeks and months. As always, listen in a neutral stance, take what resonates with you and simply leave the rest. We all have our own divine path. We all have our ways of learning and gathering information. And I always recommend that you bring it into your heart space and decide whether it resonates with you. All of this, remember, whatever is unique to you is totally unique to you. And that's what's really key to understanding your own soul. You are a unique being. That said, there is a specific structure to our soul. And I was gifted with, the, we go from those soul aspects out to every single cell of our physical vessel. Every cell in our physical vessel has a divine spark. When we heal our physical vessel, when we release any illness, any disease, any ailment, we are igniting that divine spark. And that divine spark then goes back to the soul aspect that it is tied to energetically. And then that soul aspect becomes active. And through a process, we can upshift these soul aspects and all of our physical systems and all of our invisible bodies, we can upshift all of that, we begin seeing life through a different lens and the other aspects of ourselves begin wanting to awaken as well. So it's kind of like, um, you know, you start one spark and pretty soon you've got a big roaring fire going on, right? Um, gentle, beautiful process. I'm sharing this because I want you to know that I provide services that will assist you in understanding what level of awareness different aspects of yourself are. The services that I am providing, we can ask questions about your physical vessel. What level of awareness is your teeth? or your cardiovascular system. We can get right into the details of where it is. When our sessions can be an hour to an hour and a half, then that's when the fun begins. We can then say, okay, the level of your cardiovascular system is currently at the awake level. And then we begin releasing, 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 and transmuting, and transmuting, and transmuting, and upshifting, and upshifting to the point where we're moving your system up 
up, up those different levels of awareness, those different levels of ascension. This is the process of ascension, okay? Very exciting stuff. So again, if this resonates with you, come along. If it doesn't, that's okay. Hang out and just kind of see what we're up to. So thank you so much for joining us today. Blessings to you, blessings to you. Blessings of peace-filled coalescence. These flowers are called Maximilian sunflowers. The birds and the bees absolutely love them. Hello, bee.